but uh, I can look at it. It might have another ability or something. No, it's a psionic item? Yes. That might be wise, because it's psionic. As far as I know, they still have the same pricing uh, guidelines. I would totally pay only 5000 for it. But I think, I think there's a general consensus that the custom magic item creation rules for skill bonuses in particular are a bit cheap. That is fair. But it does specifically state in the custom magic item things like a cloak of elven kind or whatever being the thing that is 2,500 gold pieces. Well, so it's all, the number is also squared. So a uh, cloak of elven kind, I think, is plus 5, right? And that's 2,500. And so 5 squared is 25, so it's 100 per square root of thing. And um, concentrate is uh, to 10 squared, so it's 100 times 100. Yeah, it's skill bonus squared times 100 gold pieces. Okay. I thought it was just a flat 500. That's why it's uh, 2,500 for a plus 5 item. So yeah, it does seem completely uh, on par for it. So I will give you the option of uh, a lesser version that only affects your um, concentration check or a full version that uh, affects spellcraft. Would the lesser version cost half or something? Yeah, the lesser version would be half, and the higher version would be the full price. Um, what do I even use Spellcraft for? Use Spellcraft for all kinds of stuff. What do I use Spellcraft for? Hopefully you're using it to identify spells that are being cast around us from mages to know if they teleport or just went invisible. Yeah, fair. I'll get the full version. <laughs> you already were going to pay ten grand for it. I can't see why you wouldn't continue to pay ten grand for it knowing that it's now way more useful. If I want a ring of anticipation, but instead of the normal cast level 5, cast level 6, does that have to be crafted, or could I still find that? In the case of things that mathematically make sense, um, no, it would probably be common. Like, for something that gives you a bonus every two levels, making it on an odd level is stupid what? I think there were there was an example of that somewhere in there that I was like yeah this specific thing has a minimum caster level of 5 but the versions of it I made are 6, 8, and 10 yeah that's fair, cool I think that's actually in the Rings of Anticipation it is but the ring the standard ones, not the major, the minor, is Castle 5, which is why I asked. Oh, okay. That might just be an oversight. No problem. Thank you. The minor might be 5 because that's the level. Uh, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was 3. It's was the plus level. 1 per level for the minor one, the lesser anticipate. So you get yeah. a plus five inside bonus, and it's caster level five. Yeah. That's a 10k magic item. Yeah, they're not cheap. But honestly, the standard one is a plus three rand roll twice is pretty economical. Yeah, that's 30k. It is. It's expensive, but I mean, it's, I, I, I'm not even trying for the 100k one. That's one I'd really like, but nope. Yeah, when you start putting caster level 10 and spell level 5 in there, it adds up pretty quick. Yeah. Maybe one day. Uh, Vampiric Regeneration, that's an evil item, right? Because it has necromancy? No, necromancy isn't by definition evil. And in the case of this one, um, it is just a... It's kind of a gray necromancy. Probably not something the Church of Lufander would be super excited about, but you're not going to be like disavowed for it or anything. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if it was similar to like Enervate and Energy Drain, but fair enough. No, because all it's doing is collecting the energy that's already about. Mm. It's not actually drawing it out of someone. That's fair. Now, the standard use of said item is to draw that energy out and then absorb it. In the form of hitting them with your greatsword. Which might be a conflict of interest. Fair enough. Hold well, on a second. It's not a specific conflict of interest. It's just, if you're going to kill them either way, um, that, that part is fine. The issue comes when you start doing it to get the bonus. Like, you're badly wounded and you just start killing things so that you can suck up their energy. <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the healing on that? Healing on 10%. what? Uh, the ring percentage? What's the percentage? I don't know. I don't have that one open. It's 10%. Oh, only 10%. I mean, I guess that for large crowds, that's significant. For a two-handed weapon, I'm fine with that. I'm just wondering, so if I take half your damage, does that mean you heal 10% of half your damage if you're next to me? We both know you're in casting shield either. Let's not get into that. Well, I am now. I, got, I, have, I can actually concentrate, and I can take 10 on the checks because of the skill unlock rules. Oh, do you have enough ranks now to take 10? Yeah. Spellcraft is actually my highest rank skill. I just, it's, it's like, the only reason I'm bad at it is because it's only my ranks. I don't really have a high intelligence or any, anything else. Like Knowledge Arcana that gives you a synergy? Uh, knowledge Arcana gives you a synergy. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have that. <laughs> yes, I'm fully aware you don't have it. I'm just confused as to why you don't have it. That's it's a blur. It's a good skill. And... Yeah, that's true. And five ranks, I also and it gives don't you have another a, plus two. I also don't have a huge number of skill points. I have, what, six per level? It's not horrible, but... I put in things like sense motive, intuition... Uh, no, I, I'm not uh, debating that. Like, obviously, you pick the skills that you think are most functional for you. I'm just surprised that that isn't things that you commonly use or that would be functional like you just fought a dragon and you fought several dragons in this game and it's been super significant to speak draconic and That's make fair. knowledge arcana checks you figure you'd have at least a couple of ranks in it so you can roll the check with a, a minus five that is fair But to each their own. Wonderful. I've got the item. Guys, can we spend three days in here before we leave? Why For do what? Why do to spend three days? Uh, my bow is three days shy of being ready. That's why I've been calculating the days. That's fair. That's your super uh, dragon slaying bow? Yeah, my keen exceptional composite longbow plus uh, six strength with adaptive. Uh, I suppose there's, I suppose, I mean, I guess there is a reason why we can't. The dwarves are under siege. Um, I mean, we, are, we just went all the way out of this off. way for me, so yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You just took twenty days off so that you could get atoned. So two more days, it's hardly a inconvenience. Wonderful. Uh, do they have, random question for no reason whatsoever, any bane against humanoid orcs? Arrows. Uh, orc bane arrows? Temple. Most definitely. Wonderful. For no reason whatsoever. Yes, you will definitely get some weird looks when you're grabbing orc bane arrows, since you're supposed to be in... A peace treaty with them? Collector's item. For sure. Posterity, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, the, the, the one year anniversary you just passed, right? But did did um, we miss the one year? Yeah, I think the one year anniversary in game has, because you guys have done all kinds of screwing around. How did the, the portrait go? I don't Can think I you ever heard anything about it. 
Can I make a diplomacy check on that? I'm actually curious now. Yep. We did all that work. I can't want no now. Uh, the, uh, the portrait was a huge, uh, success. The Duke was very impressed. Very nice. It was to commemorate the ending of the war, right? Yes, the peace treaty. Very good. So it looks like we're not, not stoking the flames of war. Interesting, interesting. And by not stoking the flames of war... You're stoking the flames of war? Hmm? Uh, I, 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 you know what? We're getting a bit off topic. Uh, good to know. Oh, I'm going to have to make a new initiative macro. I can't use your standard one. Why is that? Because I roll twice now. Yeah, you can just put 2d20 keep 1. Like we oh, did I thought that was course. your own macro. Oh, I thought that was your own. Oh, yeah, no, I have it in my macro. I, okay. Yeah, I have a, a, a roll 2 dice macro. Right there. I use it all the time. That's how I slaughter you on initiative. I can fight now. Okay. And a plus five protection. Jesus, what's your new AC? Oh, that's also a resistance bonus, isn't it? Yeah. So my AC would jump up quite a bit since I don't have a ring of protection yet. What did you get plus five AC from? Uh, I said I think I'm going to go ring of protection plus five. Armor Crystal of Aquatic Greater and Lesser Crystal of True Death. A plus five ring of protection is like 50 grand alone. Yeah. Okay. I know there's ways to get my AC up higher, but I'd like to get my saves up too. No, that's totally fine. I was going to say you have plus one breastplate. You could just get plus five breastplate for half the price of that ring. And I could get an ar uh, animated shield and... I, yeah, there's a lot of things I could do, but I don't feel like going through all that. No, that's totally fair. Do it however you want. Just a plus five ring for a eighth level character is pretty uh, significant. I think the saves is the part that I want the most. Yep, that's definitely uh, the way to go then. It was either that or ring evasion. I don't remember how much that is. I didn't look that's that up. That's 20 grand, but it's only one save and... yeah. It's only if you make the save that you don't take any damage. And then the Crystal Aquatic just gives me water breathing, a swim speed, and attack. I can attack normal underwater. And Lesser Crystal True de Death gives my weapon a D6 against Undead and Ghost Touch. That's a nice combo. I know it uh, doesn't seem like much, but well, it seems like I don't... a weird choice when you're not fighting undead. Yeah, until you do, and then you'd be like, "Fuck, I'm in the middle of a dungeon, and I can't do shit against these ghosts." Except that I is have... true. I do have less weapon, but that's admittedly a short duration. Does bless weapon let you hit ghosts? I believe so. I don't remember seeing that, but maybe. Because um, uh, I also didn't re I didn't remember the fact that it auto critted against evil. So, yeah, I think uh, it, I think it gives it an alignment of good. Oh, it gives a plus one enhancement bonus for the purpose of bypassing damage reduction or striking corporeal creatures. Yeah. So it, do, it it still makes you do half damage. To be fair. But okay. the crystal is only like three grand. So. Oh, that's pretty cheap. It's not like I'm wasting a whole lot of money. Plus, I so here's my problem with my weapon, is I don't want to give it away long enough to modify it with things. Like, say, Keen. 
I don't think you can do that with your weapon. I think you have to do it personally. So it is the weapon is what it is until I find it's no longer useful and I have to give it up, which I don't want to do. So are you planning on taking um, item familiar for it? Uh, at some point, I'm not quite sure when yet. Actually, you hit when we hit level nine, we get a, a feat, don't we? Yep. Maybe level nine then, because I don't, I think I have everything except for, I got to wait to level 10 for the feat I want. So maybe I can take it next level. Once you do that, you can start giving it abilities that you want it to have. Oh, did you want some of your gold back, uh, Joseph, that you gave me after I died? I think you already gave it back to me. I gave some of it back, and you said that was enough, but... Oh, yeah, I, I and that, that's fine. Me. You still gotta get stronger. I, I don't want to have to buy your shit again because you died. Fair. <laughs> the, the irony of it is, when you bought Ferenc a new breastplate... You bought him a better breastplate than you were wearing. That was funny. Yes, I found it absolutely what, hilarious. What is what is uh, Joseph wearing currently? Right now I have an exceptional plus one. Breastplate? Yes. Okay. So most of my gear I've just gotten off enemies. I haven't really bought a whole lot. I'll I'll buy Joseph uh some plus two breastplate. So that'd be five thousand eight hundred. I'll make a diplomacy check for it. Actually, I guess I could get plus three for him. Or no, you, you could okay. upgrade your own stuff. So you survive. Oh, I already have plus two. 23. I like how Joseph trying to say, you need to survive more. And Ferenc is like, nope, not listening. La, 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 la. I'll be fine. Also, I forget, did we agree? Is Greater Luminous Armor a deflection bonus now? Or is it armor and it... I, f I forget what we agreed on for that spell. Um, I don't know if I actually made a determination. All right. Well, um, probably uh, I'll look at it right now. soon. I actually saw it today uh, when I was looking at something else. When I was doing uh, lightning strike. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will. I'll get him that armor. So it's uh, what's what's the discount on a twenty three? I don't know. Ask uh, Jagged. I'm asking Jagged. Uh, twenty three on a purchase check. Yep. Uh, ninety. Can you luck that? Nope. I only have a plus one. Is there any luck already in that? Probably nope. not. So I'll luck it. Oh, so is it an eighty five percent now? Uh, seventy five. Uh, no, it's 85, you're right, sorry. 85. So, 4,930. And I will give that to Joseph. And he can sell off his old armor if he wants. Yeah, it is an armor, armor bonus. So what are you giving me? Uh, plus two exceptional breastplate. Oof, my AC just jumped up a shit ton. Yeah, I added the light descriptor to it because it cast daylight, which is 
absolutely retarded. The spell is second level and gives you a plus five armor bonus. And then in addition to that, casts a third level spell on you. Yeah, the uh, the sacred spells are a bit silly. Yeah, we can we can avoid it if you want. No, I don't have a specific issue with it. I think the biggest problem with luminous armor is you it announces that you're coming from sixty feet away or one hundred and twenty feet away, so everyone has lots of time to prepare. And because it lasts an hour a level, it's silly not to cast it in the morning. There was some second level spell I was going to pick up. Is it is it Anticipate Perils third level, right? Yeah. Uh, there was something I was going to replace Stabilize with, but the Stabilize was my uh, my my murder healing uh, <laughs> pick. <laughs> I really need you to look at what that spell does to see if you can actually fathom the horror of what you did. Which Sorry, spell? what spell was your murdering spell? Stabilize. The second level one, not the cantrip. Oh, okay. That's the 100 foot radius one. now that you're not going to murder people, you don't need stabilize? Correct. I, I still have lesser stabilize. I mean, it's good if we're everyone like... Honestly, the sheer fact you're taking that out proves you only took that spell to kill people with it. And that's oh, the horror have, of what I you did. I will not argue that uh, that is exactly why I took that spell. Yeah, well, that was my point from the beginning, is it seems very cold, calculated, and premeditated. Fair. It seems like your intent from the beginning is to kill. It's oh, yeah. not, oh, I'm healing all these people here who are down. No, no. Plus, I was, by I, a side effect, you get popped. No, I was never trying to pass it off as a side effect. But that's my point, is the fact that you weren't trying to pass it off as a side effect meant you were actually trying to kill people with it. Yes. I'm actually surprised that they gave him his spells immediately before he finished the act of contrition. What happens if he doesn't do it if he changes his mind or says, fuck off? Well, it's supposed to be in a timely again. order, so if you fail to do it, then you end up uh, defaulting on your atonement, and he loses his powers again. Oh, okay. Athletic mastery after, seems good. After that spell had been cast, what happens if Ferenc had actually killed all those parishioners? He has so, like, his sin was tied to the high priest, right? When you've taken the high priest down with him? He wouldn't have been able to do it. Okay. I, I think uh, Lathander would jump in mid-cast again. Yeah, he would have waited until you were killing people to do it. Fair enough. I was just curious. But you know, if I used my staff for it, if, if I'd had a different staff and used the staff so that Lathander couldn't stop it, you know, or maybe a scroll, a wand, or something I could apply and do healing with. Yes, dear. <laughs> but no, that, that would be like... I don't. I can't even think of a circumstance that would happen in because it requires you to worship a god with the healing domain. Um, What requires you to worship a god with the healing domain? The imbued healing thing I'm doing. Oh, you can only do the things that you have the domain of? Uh, yeah, so Imbued Healing gives lets you attach rider effects to your healing spells. And that's what I'm getting all the temporary hit points from, is that the, the healing domain rider effect is tons of temporary hit points. That is fair. So right out of the gate, not only what you're doing is evil, it's compounded by the fact that it's really evil. I don't know what's worse. The fact that you did it or the fact that you lost your powers over three level one hobgoblins? 
Yeah. No, it was. It, well, I, I guess the cobalt was the first warning. Yeah, yeah, but like in the cave, he lost it because he wanted to destroy the hobgoblins. And it's just like, you lost your powers over four, it was three or four, level three one. Three level one hobgoblins. That was, yeah, three that le- was my point in the situation, is that there was absolutely no concern about your survival. Like when you're fighting the dragon, there was a, yeah, this could go bad real quick. Taking out that sorcerer or shaman or whatever is definitely an asset, but killing a handful of pointless hobgoblins that you're going to mow through with little or no effort isn't really something you should be risking your soul on. I can't wait for the end of the five with the BBEG, and he only has one option, and it's to blow him up with healing. Does he damn his soul or damn the world? I can't wait. Well, most big things he's not going to be able to do that to. Yeah, like I couldn't have done that to the dragon. I mean, I could have like multiple rounds, but I don't think it would have just stood there and ignored me while I did it. And everyone else would have had to stand there and ignore the dragon while he did it. Yeah, nah, that's the other do thing that. is that it doesn't, it is literally uh, the opposite of what you're trying to do to it. Oh, oh yeah, it was um, Holy Smite, because that's, that's like church approved, right? Yep. Holy Smite's an awesome spell. Well, I think we're all good. Is is Joseph done shopping? Yep. Wonderful. Okay, update your uh, tokens and we can head back into work home. Oh, Holy Smite is good domain only? Good and glory. Huh, I did not realize it was only a domain spell. Yeah, you only get it if you take the domain. There's a couple of spells. That's the reason why I am such a huge fan of the good domain is I love that spell. It is so nasty. And of the four alignment spells, that one is by far the best. Yeah, blinded for one round. And you tend to face a lot of evil stuff. Well, the idea is that you wouldn't be casting it if you weren't fighting a lot of evil stuff. But as the DM... I cast Unholy Blight, and it does the same thing, but it makes you sicken. And I was like, well, that doesn't do anything. I thought Unholy uh, Blight was nauseated. No, I don't think so. I think it's just sicken. It's something way less bad than being blind. Being blind for a round, uh, particularly if you have a rogue in your party, is devastating. Being blind in combat is absolutely brutal. Oh, you're right. It's sickened for 1d4 rounds. Yeah, that's not nearly as good. Yeah, minus 2 for a couple of rounds is nothing compared to being blind for one round. One round of blindness, you could easily die. Anyone could easily die in that. Yeah, I agree. Especially if it comes up at a point in the initiative where you don't get to act. Like, if you go first, and then the second person casts Holy Smite on you, and then you have to go through the entire initiative order... Before you even get an opportunity to go again, you could easily be dead. That sucks. Similar to the uh, the thing Sheehan did in the dwarf game, they were fighting this uh, immortal, and he was like a forty eighth level spellcaster. And it wasn't intended to be a combat that they were to win. It was mostly supposed to be a um, lick your wounds type of thing as he fled or got away. Um, But Sheehan decided he had the protection domain, so he cast anti-magic sphere on himself. And he walks up beside the the mage, casts anti-magic field, and brings his two like 15th level fighter buddies with him and now the mage has no protection of any kind as two fighters attack him fortunately he had a shit ton of hit points so he survived a single attack from each of them and then fled but it was very close that's why you grapple yeah grappling him would have made way more sense Especially with somebody that high level, like he'd have a reasonable grapple check. But if you've got two or three people trying to grapple him, you at least have uh, a much better chance of keeping him in the area.
Uh, I will cast um, the creator status at the start of the day uh, with the divine spell power. And Joseph, did you use my first roll for the diplomacy on your items, or did you want me to roll that for you at the discount? Uh, I didn't use any rolls, but... Um, I can roll real quick, if you'd like. Sure. Keep in mind with your anticipation ring that it would be higher priced for 6th level. Yeah, I, I added the, the extra 6k on it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I can lock that to a 35, which is... 75%. Copy that. That's a huge chunk of change back. Nice. Yeah, when well you're dropping 50k and you get 12 grand of it back. Did we want to stealth down with Joseph or did we want to uh just waltz in? Uh what kind of <clears throat> what kind of armor does Xander have? Why are you asking me questions? I have to look up. Uh Plus one exceptional breastplate with a plus one armor weave cloak. Uh, we said the cloak stacks with armor, right? So if I cast yeah. Greater Luminous Armor on Xander, then it would stack? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll cast uh, Greater Luminous Armor on Xander. Why would you do that? Would that be heavy, or is this exceptional? Uh, Greater Luminous Armor is just like ethereal armor. It's like mage armor. And it increases, it, so it gives you a plus eight bonus to armor, a plus eight armor bonus. So, but it doesn't stack with your actual armor. Okay. The, the only reason I ask is because I have a dodge bonus that needs me to stay in light armor. Yeah, it's 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 non armor. Like a monk could wear it. Okay. Um, you also so you have a total plus eight bonus in um, uh, to armor, and also anything attacking you in melee gets a minus four to hit you because it's so bright. Um, Actually, you won't be able to sneak, though, so you still want that. Um, did I sneak outside You, you of have a 120-foot radius light on you. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, yeah, I'll cast that on you, then. Damn. You're and casting last... two fourth-level spells before you go into the dungeon. Yes. Do I get the DR from that? No, there's no DR on it. Okay. You keep your normal. So ace goes though. up by four. That's not bad. And then people get a minus four to attack you in melee. And also your minus... light your light radius is huge. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. I love it. Minus four because I'm so bright. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> Uh, and then I will cast um, Shield Other on Joseph. Does that override my Breastplate eight, um, DR, or like, or do I still keep that? No, you keep the DR, just not the armor bonus. Cool. I assume. Yep. I talked over you, Joseph, sorry. And then... Uh... Spells. Oh yeah, I'll cast a uh, lesser anticipate on myself. And uh, that's it for pre-buffing. Okay, you can proceed at your leisure. Did you give Xander his 120 foot light radius? Yes. Oh, okay. 
Imagine that kind of light. Might as well just walk in. Fucking floodlight. Ah, there they are. Okay, well, they'll be ready for you since you're a beacon of holy bullshit. We're two beacons of holy bullshit. I agree. So, Joseph, when you round the corner, twenty-three and a ten. I assume neither of those are hits on you. Both misses. Okay, then we can move to initiative. That's what you want to see. Solid one with the new ring. Nice. Let's see. Oh, it's a pair of 18s. <laughs> Both rolls are 18. Ooh, it does matter. Okay, Xander, you're up first. Well, I guess seeing everyone look in stoic fashion. Um, let's do a quick half movement here. Ah, so convenient for that. Well, I guess I'll attack the dog. I'll let Joseph get the other two. Uh, that is not with the chart, so 20, it is evil, I assume, so that would hit barely. You charged? I moved, yeah, so I had a charge for the end of that. Oh, okay. To attack. That's it. Again. I guess I really didn't need. Uh, yeah, I should have specified it. Uh, I didn't say it. Uh, uh, that's a miss. Oops. Uh, I didn't say I was charging, and I realized I didn't need to charge to do that. Yeah, because so, you said yeah. you're going to move the first half of your movement, and I assume that's because you have double movement. Yeah, I forgot I had double movement when I started the attack. <laughs> My brain stopped. Fair enough. Joseph, you're up. All right. That ends my turn. Okay, well, he will back off and breathe on you. Rude. Twenty six points, save for half. What's the DC? 
Uh, DC is 16. One. Not hard to make. That was my point about upping the damage that it does, is the DC is pathetic. Yeah. A CR7 that has a DC of 16, like that's like a third level DC. That's fair. Even Just first level remember character. Remember, you have uh, Shield Other on you. Who does? Joseph. Do resistance bonuses stack? What do you mean? Well, I've got the Ring of Protection, but he also casts Shield Other on me. I know deflection stacks. I just don't know about resistance. Neither. Uh, neither stacks. Oh, none of them stack? I could have nope. sworn deflection stacked. Nope. Uh, deflection only and resistance is... don't. There's only a couple that do stack. Oh, is it dodge? Dodge. dodge. That's and, what I was thinking uh, of. Circumstance. So my AC is actually twice. Okay. Well, they will all attack you, Joseph. Ooh, 27. Is that your armor class? That is. So they only need an 18 to hit you. Those two guys will double move up. The front two guys will drop their bows and move up to attack. Or drop their bows and draw their swords as they move up. And then we're on deference. Uh, I'll move up. And I'll uh, remove paralysis on us with my staff. So we all gain 15 temporary hit points, and that's my turn. Okay, then we're back to initiative. <laughs> 